Tension is mounting in southern Italy as the Campi Flegre supervolcano continues to display alarming signs of unrest. Another earthquake with a magnitude of 3.2 struck today, just 24 hours after a similar event, marking yet another tremor in a growing swarm that has scientists and residents on edge. But the seismic activity is only part of the unfolding story. Unusual ground disturbances have started to appear across the region. In a particularly unsettling incident, a section of roadway was fractured open, releasing clouds of steam and a pungent sulfuric odour, hallmarks of a fumarole. The location of this event near the well-known Solfatara crater coincides with the epicentres of the recent earthquakes, reinforcing concerns that pressure beneath the surface is intensifying. Geophysical studies have long suggested that the surface crust in this area is exceptionally fragile. Newer research confirms that magma may be inching closer to the surface, exploiting structural weaknesses in the volcanic caldera. Scientists have pinpointed specific zones where the crust is so compromised that it could serve as a pathway for magma to escape, raising the possibility of future eruptions. Campi Flegre has a chilling history. Past eruptions were not only more powerful but also more frequent than previously believed. Since 2005, the region has shown steadily increasing signs of reawakening, uplift of the ground, elevated gas emissions, and now an intensifying sequence of earthquakes. What was once a simmering threat has now become a flashing red warning light. The potential for a phreatic eruption, an explosion of steam and gas triggered when groundwater comes into contact with superheated magma, has been publicly acknowledged even by Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, INGV, which has historically taken a conservative stance on the threat. Alarmingly, the most recent studies reveal that the youngest crater in the area, Monte Nuovo, was born from just such an eruption. It began as a phreatic blast and quickly escalated into something far more destructive. A critical roadway linking Naples to the Phlegrian region including the municipality of Pozzuoli and its surrounding districts, experienced a sudden collapse on the evening of Thursday, June 5th. Authorities and municipal engineers promptly responded, initiating efforts overnight to establish alternative traffic routes. Road repairs were scheduled to commence the following morning. This affected zone lies within the Campi Flegre Bradi seismic area, an intensely active geological region marked by gradual ground uplift, swarms of earthquakes, and numerous volcanic features such as fumaroles. This part of the Flegrean fields, particularly near Solfatara and Pisciarelli, is characterized by rising subterranean pressure, akin to a sealed pressure cooker nearing its limit. The ongoing seismic swarm has caused noticeable tremors deeply unsettling local residents. Despite the road having been recently resurfaced, technicians attributed its rapid deterioration to a combination of factors, including the high temperatures and corrosive sulfuric gases released by nearby fumaroles. These natural emissions appear to have compromised the structural integrity of the asphalt, softening and damaging its upper layers. Member of Parliament Francesco Borelli, who visited the scene, confirmed the presence of sulphur emissions and highlighted concerns raised by local experts. The municipality of Pozzuoli released an official statement indicating that the incident on Via Antiniana was not due to a sinkhole or generalized road collapse, but rather to a manhole that had burst open, likely triggered by either seismic vibrations or underlying construction activity. The road has since been reopened and resurfacing efforts are underway. Despite official explanations, social media has erupted with public skepticism. Many are questioning the wisdom of sealing off a fumarole in a volcanically active zone, experiencing escalating tectonic unrest. Eyewitnesses described a powerful sulfur odor at the site, reinforcing the belief that volcanic activity, not simple infrastructure failure, is the root cause. The coincidence of two magnitude 3.2 earthquakes on consecutive days, Thursday and Friday, only added to the tension. Further reports indicate that roadwork had been ongoing in the area for several days, narrowing the roadway to allow for the replacement of subterranean pipelines. At some point during Thursday night, municipal engineers reported that a manhole suddenly erupted, 
though it's still uncertain whether seismic activity or construction disturbances were to blame. What remains indisputable is the appearance of a sulphurous fumarole, one of many scattered throughout this precarious and volatile volcanic landscape. The situation has been closely documented by geologists, and the recent events have deeply unsettled local communities. Despite official statements from the municipality downplaying the threat as a routine occurrence, experts argue otherwise, especially for those living in one of the most densely populated regions sitting atop a volatile volcanic complex. Since 2018, prominent scientists have persistently urged for the evacuation of at least the designated high-risk red zone, warning of the potentially catastrophic consequences of inaction. Among the affected infrastructure is the Via Antiniana, a critical arterial road connecting Naples with the Phlegrian region. Though it was temporarily closed by the following morning, two-way traffic had resumed, narrowed slightly to allow resurfacing trucks to pass, but concerns arose again when a newly repaved section abruptly collapsed. According to Member of Parliament Francesco Emilio Borelli, who inspected the site shortly after the incident, the structural failure was linked to the release of sulphurous gases, believed to have corroded the concrete, a process accelerated by recent high temperatures. Borelli has called for transparency, not only regarding the immediate damages, but also about drilling operations that have occurred in the area over the past several years. These activities, he pointed out, previously triggered gas emissions and even a geyser-like event, raising serious questions about their role in the current instability. He stressed the urgency for immediate safety measures and a thorough investigation into these past interventions. Local residents, meanwhile, are increasingly alarmed. The entire region has been suffering from months of Bradyseism, a geological phenomenon marked by gradual ground uplift accompanied by persistent earthquake swarms. Authorities continue to assure the public that the situation is being closely monitored and that restoration work is underway. However, many feel these reassurances fall short given the scale and persistence of the seismic activity. Prominent volcanologist Professor Mauro Di Lorenzo, who has long advocated for the evacuation of the Red Zone, reiterated his concern. He emphasized that the situation should not be minimized as mere tremors. What lies beneath, he warned, is the real threat, the pressure building within the volcanic system. Di Lorenzo strongly criticised the previous drilling projects, describing them as dangerously irresponsible within such a seismically and volcanically sensitive zone. According to him and many of his colleagues, these operations reflect a deeper systemic failure, the absence of a robust, transparent monitoring and risk mitigation strategy. The current crisis, they argue, underscores the need for a science-driven approach that prioritises public safety, avoids experimental recklessness and prepares the population for potential volcanic activity in one of the most precariously situated urban regions in Europe. The situation surrounding Campi Flegre remains far from resolved and recent developments suggest the potential for escalating concern. Multiple studies have drawn attention to a marked uptick in sudden seismic swarms and significant ground uplift, particularly since 2021, strong indicators of persistent volcanic unrest beneath the surface. Campi Flegre is not a singular volcanic peak, but an immense caldera system sprawled across the Bay of Pozzuoli just west of Naples, a densely populated area with over six million residents. Unlike conventional volcanoes, this caldera comprises a complex web of craters, steaming fumaroles and shifting geothermal activity. The designated high-risk zones fluctuate in official estimates, ranging from 80,000 to 750,000 people, though most scientific assessments focus on a critical 500,000 residents living in areas most exposed to danger. Even a relatively minor phreatic steam-driven eruption in such a setting could result in devastating consequences. Adding to the urgency is new research revealing that Campi Flegre may have a far more active past than previously understood. A recent study published in Communications Earth and Environment uncovered evidence of a previously undocumented eruption around 109,000 years ago. This ancient eruption was nearly on par with the massive event 40,000 years ago that originally formed the caldera. 
The resulting pyroclastic flows and widespread ash fallout blanketed much of the surrounding Campanian Plain, underscoring the system's capacity for high-magnitude explosive activity. According to the researchers, this revelation suggests the volcano's history includes at least one additional catastrophic event, reshaping scientific assessments of its eruptive potential. Such findings carry profound implications for how experts evaluate current risks. The surge in seismic activity, more than 21,000 earthquakes between 2021 and 2025, with magnitudes reaching up to 4.6 comma, along with a ground uplift now exceeding 1.5 meters since 2005, are powerful signs of a deep ongoing geophysical transformation. Monthly uplift rates have fluctuated between 1.5 and 3 centimeters, sometimes accelerating without clear warning. Recent swarms have included clusters of tremors occurring within minutes of each other, shaking homes and fraying nerves. Local accounts reflect this growing anxiety. A tour guide in the area shared fears about the safety of her home already marked by expanding cracks. I'm frightened, she admitted, still working among curious visitors despite the unsettling signs around her. Another observer who visited Naples to witness the changes firsthand described the streets as visibly damaged, with cracked buildings, collapsed walls and gaping holes in roads. Perhaps even more troubling was the prevailing mood he encountered, a population seemingly unwilling to acknowledge the looming danger. Together, the science and the stories point toward a volcanic system in flux, restless beneath the surface and embedded within a cityscape unprepared for the scale of its fury should it awaken again. Many residents continue to act as if everything is proceeding normally, reassured by repeated statements from officials. Yet beneath the surface, a deeper fear lingers. These individuals are not ignorant, they understand the risks, but their outward composure hides a growing sense of helplessness. The implications are staggering, both emotionally and practically. What's unfolding represents not just a natural disaster, but a seismic shift in the lives of thousands. Entire communities may be uprooted. For the people of Naples, this could mean seeking a new homeland, one that preserves their identity and heritage before it's lost forever. In truth, relocation might be the only viable path to safety. Even communities in nearby regions, such as parts of Greece, could be forced to consider similar measures. Experts monitoring the volcanic activity have drawn unsettling parallels. The current seismic swarms at Campi Flegre and similar patterns at other volatile volcanic systems have historically preceded phreatic explosions and marked the onset of critical phases of geological unrest. Yet, public reassurances persist, insisting this is all within the norm. It is not. The region has also seen a significant uptick in hydrothermal activity, a worrying sign for volcanologists. Carbon dioxide emissions have surged to nearly 1,600 tonnes per day, a figure comparable to levels observed at active volcanoes with open conduits. Seismic activity is concentrated in the hydrothermal zones, pointing to fluctuations in underground fluid pressures that may be destabilising the ground above. In an area as densely populated as this, that possibility is deeply alarming. Elsewhere, Mount Etna presents its own silent threat. While attention is largely focused on visible eruptions, new satellite imagery reveals structural changes beneath the mountain, including signs of shifting and instability in the surrounding seafloor. These developments are underreported, yet they carry the potential for a much larger catastrophe. Recent high-resolution satellite data paints a clearer, more alarming picture of these regions. The true extent of geological change becomes shockingly apparent when viewed from above. Mountains cracking, coasts shifting, and signs that nature may be preparing something far more destructive than the public is ready to acknowledge. What unfolded today may be a signal of similar processes starting again. With the tourist season in full swing and the weather drawing countless visitors to the picturesque Bay of Naples, the timing couldn't be more dangerous. While Yellowstone often grabs global headlines, Campi Flegre is quietly reminding the world that it too holds catastrophic potential, perhaps even greater. Scientists are watching closely and with increasing urgency because the consequences of ignoring the signs could be devastating. Staying informed is critical. 
There is more unfolding beneath the surface than most realize, and while the world watches the skies for ash, the real danger might be building underground. If you found this update insightful, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss the latest developments. Dive deeper with my other videos on volcanic activity and natural disasters to stay ahead of what nature might have in store next. Thank you for watching and supporting the channel. Stay safe, stay curious, and until next time, keep watching the ground beneath your feet.